It'll be interesting to see what it is. I'm not sure exactly. There is a cobweb, though. It has nothing to do with this. What's going on here? It might be somewhere down and around here. I'm going to use the vision. Oh, the large frog suit actually needs help. The frogs are endless. Find a way to appease the frog god. How about a princess? We'll put her on the pedestal. Enjoy your princess, frog. There you go. We actually did remove the curse. And yay, 56 star rates. How nice. And all the frogs are dying and disappearing. That is just icing on the proverbial cake. The making of a mummy. Help the mortician create an eternal mummy. This should be an interesting quest. I can see some really good things coming out of this, so... Let's just start it. We'll go gung-ho, guns a blazing. however you want to say it. We're gonna hop right in the middle of things here. Oh my, they've got everything hooked up. This is really interesting stuff. Kinda weird, though. Help the mortician make a mummy. First, put someone of high stature in the sarcophagus. How about the president? I almost feel bad now. It's a female president. There you go. Oh my, I guess we just killed the president. Next, add something for the mummy to be wrapped in. How about seaweed? Kind of like bandages, but it would be interesting to see the president wrapped in seaweed. No! Apparently I'm not following the book here. Fine, we'll just give you a bandage. It can be wrapped in bandages. Even though seaweed, when it's wet, could probably act as a nice uh, sort of connecting compound there. I'm, I'm making a motion with my hands, as you can hear. And hopefully you can hear that. That's what I was doing with my hands. Finally, get a compound to use as embalming fluid. Okay, well, we'll stick by the book, and we'll do formaldehyde, which actually a lot of people think smell really crappy. It doesn't really smell that bad to me. And yeah, we got a science point for that, apparently. Let's see if we made a mummy. Oh my, looks like we got shocked a little bit. Oh, oh, we did get a cool, pretty cool mummy right there. Secret Service mummy, might I add. But we did, in other words, get another star right here, so made quick work of this level even though we made slow work of all the other levels but we did complete another level we're just doing so much leveling here i don't even know what to say anymore no, i'm just kidding i do know i say too many things i say them all the time the underscore mine looks very interesting two quests and not a lot of shards let's go check that out as the last area that we do here unless we make good time of course but then we'll do something different oh this is a really pretty area very very cool Looks like we have a preserved mammoth and such. Another one of Maxwell's brothers, who seemingly is out of place here, but we also have a canary down here. Protect me from lethal gas! Well, a gas mask would do just exactly that. Enjoy wearing it. Go, go, go! Do I need to be wearing one now, though? I don't know where the lethal gas is, but uh, apparently I'm surviving it. Looks like you might need some mushrooms. These mushrooms need an adjective to taste for, for them to taste better. Fine. Let's make you sugary! A sugary mushroom just turned into a pizza. I don't know what's going on, but apparently we are a fungi connoisseur and we can probably use another one of Maxwell's brothers. Brother Hector. Very interesting. Oh, death down there. That's not good at all. These are really pretty crystals. Ruby stalactites. Cool stuff. Help us! We're trapped! Well, I know. A heater could probably do a lot of work here. Let's actually use a heater, hopefully to its effect. Turn it on. Beautiful! It did work. Cool. Ice aged indeed, and it looks like we have... The cast of Ice Age right there. We don't need to do anything else. There's a minecart. I thought we might actually have to do some sort of interactable with that, but I guess not. Let's see what's up and over here, besides a quest. Who are you? Help me figure out which one is a vampire. We got... We got... Artie? No, that's the name of the bird, I guess. That's the name of the guy. Okay, so we have three bats. We need to discern which one is a vampire. Very interesting indeed. Let's see. What could coax out a vampire? Ooh, a mirror. Yes, it won't have a reflection if it looks itself in the mirror. Which one is a vampire? Which one of you is a vampire? Oh, we found it! Perfect! I didn't think that would actually work, but I guess we did it to some sort of degree of proficiency. Oh! It looks like we're responsible for the murder of a vampire. Did that even work? Did that work? Did I get a star rate from that? Did I get a star rate from that? No, apparently he still has a quest. Are you done? Well, let's try another mirror. Maybe they're all vampires. I guess... I guess not. How about a blood pack? We could give you... Uh, maybe... How about just blood in general? That'll coax out a vampire. Okay, come on. Blood is an object. <gasps> blood bag. 
You are all killing me. What coaxes out a vampire? How about a coffin? We'll give you a coffin. And then a vampire would probably want to go in the coffin, eh? Maybe not. I'm kind of skeptical that I completed that. I guess I'll go around and use my vision to check a little bit more. Just to make sure. Just to be careful, of course. I'm going to go back up here just to make sure. And if not, then I will obviously reset the level and have to do everything again. So let's actually just reset the level and we will try to do that vampire quest. Because I'm trying to think. We did the bird quest. We did the woolly mammoth quest here. You obviously don't need help anymore. Uh, we did the chef quest. And what was the fourth one we did? Apparently... Oh. Does, does that... I guess I removed that object. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we did the quest from you. I guess we did the Star 8 quest for you. Now I'm really confused as to what's going on. Let's actually just start one of the quests here. Turn Maxwell into a superhero. This seems kind of random to be in this place, but I guess when you're down in the mines, everything is fair game. Make Maxwell a superhero. First, give him something to face on his face to hide his identity. How about a party hat? I could wear a party hat. That would, I, that would mask my identity personally. No one would know what I look like with a party hat on. And now we need a wardrobe fitting for a superhero. How about a diving suit? That would look perfect on you, sir. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that didn't work. Seriously, a diving suit doesn't make you look like a superhero? No, I don't... Fine. How about tights? Terrible, I know. But all superheroes wear tights. And I guess that worked in a humorous sort of way. Next, he needs a superpower. Apply an adjective to give him a special ability. Okay, since we look like a complete mishmash of idiocy, let's try invisible so that no one can actually see us. Because I wouldn't want anyone to see me personally. There we go. Spike the Starry. We are done with this quest at least. We have one more quest to embark on and then one more shard quest that I have no idea is what's going on with it, I should say. Still four out of five, so apparently I'm just missing something that's apparently completely obvious to me. I just don't know why the vampire thing didn't show up. Anyways, save the supermodel from the giant enemy spider. And with that, we come to the conclusion of another episode of our Let's Play of Scribblenauts. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. You can check out either link to your left or your right. It will take you to the previous or the next video. And hopefully you guys have a great night. This has been Duffman56. I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Bye.